And stem cells are the basic cells that everything else comes from. So the uh, liver tissue, kidney tissue, lung tissue, heart, doesn't matter. It all starts as a stem cell and then goes through a process of differentiation. Uh, so you may start with a pluripotent stem cell, divides into a multipotent stem cell, and then a liver cell or whatever may be the case. So an important thing to know is that stem cells naturally occur in the human body. We can't live without them. And stem cells age like the rest of the body. And uh, by the time people reach age 75 or so, the stem cells can no longer divide and whatever you have in your body is what you're left with. So uh, this is a really bad thing uh, because when people get injured into their 70s and 80s, they start to lose their capacity to heal and recover. So it's why when people are in their 70s, they get a broken bone. It may never heal correctly because of the loss of stem cell activity. So I started with a very basic proposition. And instead of injecting stem cells into the body, which is extremely expensive and uh, you can't do it daily and it has risks associated with it, could we create a technology that was safe, affordable, and effective that everyone could have access to that would uh, improve the way the stem cells that are already in our body behave. So essentially, take the old stem cells and convert them over into younger, healthier cells. So that was essentially the catalyst for the development of X39 and the other patches. Well, fortunately, our laboratory results showed that you could use phototherapy and X39 came as a result.